When, when did you first meet McCartney? Because I know you collaborated with him. I met him at a, at a, a, a charity concert, a benefit concert for, for Capuchia in 1980. Uh, we were on the last ever Wings show. We, 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 we were one of the opening acts for the very last Wings show. And so I met him then. And then we were in adjacent studios in 1982 when we were making Imperial Bedroom. He was making tug of war in the next studio, which was very strange. You go to yeah. you go up to the rec lounge, and he'd be playing the asteroids machine or playing <laughs> pool. You know, I, I, it took a while to get over that. You know, did you try to play cool when you first met him, or did you just kind of fanboy out? <laughs> I'm from well, Liverpool he, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was in, always, uh, Paul's always kind of noted the things that you know. He's always said, uh, "I'm not actually from Liverpool because my my family is, but uh, I was born in London, but I was." I was it spent a lot of time there, so I'm kind of an adopted son. But he always picked up the the things that were similar. His father was uh, was in a dance band, so I suppose we found a way to work together. When he invited me to write with him, that was some of the conversation that we have some things in common. Hey, we're both called Mac. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> right. my yeah. name is Mac Manus, really, not Costello. You know, Costello is an Irish name as well. It's not Italian. It's uh, it's my great grandmother's name, but I. I picked it because hey, it's it sounds it sounds easy to say. On yeah, the phone. sure. You know, if, if you're Declan McManus, Declan, it sounds that's like right. he's going to sing some folk songs. You know, <laughs> right. so it's not really, a, it's not a sexy rock and roll singer name at all. You know, ladies and gentlemen, when, Declan McManus. Yeah, it's too hard to say. <laughs> when you're writing with somebody else, does it change the way that you write? I mean, does it change? Yeah, because it? Yeah. I mean, if you were rolled, wrote all over their yeah. opinions, what would be the point of being in the room? Yeah. I mean, when I first came into work with Paul McCartney, I had a song called Veronica, which was actually a serious lyric you know it was about my grandmother and she was sliding or had been drifting into what we would now would call out you know, early stages of alzheimer's and it was i didn't want to write you know the sad mournful song about it i was wanting to write something bright and so i was going to tell that story as well and tell it with bright kind of optimistic sounding music and paul just you know he he saw what i was trying to do and he helped me do that he helped me. He looked at it as a as a craftsman job. He he could make it better because he knows about the way, hmm. you know. And then the next songs we got into were a bit more of a dialogue mm -hmm. where we would just get a, some sort of starting point, a, a turn of phrase, the usual ways you start songs. Somebody will say something, oh, that's a title. And then we take it from there. And what's the story then? And then we throw it back and forward like like some sort of tennis match. Or something.